Are you born everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It has been raining continuously over here and today finally a little bit of sunshine. Monday mornings are always a little hectic for me because I need to get back to my weekly routine after a long weekend. I usually start off by doing my laundry first because over the weekend I never get my laundry done and it is always piled up after the end of the weekend. I had a very long day on Saturday so I managed to make some chapatis and some salad for dinner and we had it with the curry we made on Friday. Now to make the chapatis I added some uh, whole wheat flour or atta flour and some little bit of oil, I prefer coconut oil and then some warm water and some salt to taste and knead very well and keep it aside and then you can go ahead after about 15 to 20 minutes you can go ahead and make the chapatis now to go along with the chapatis i made a cucumber salad i at least try to add a cucumber salad once in two three days or every other day because it's very difficult to get my kids to eat any kind of salad and uh, cucumber salad is something they don't mind eating along with their lunch or dinner so for this i just use chopped up uh, cucumber along with some onions it's up to you how much you want to add now in our house we like a lot of chunky tomatoes so i go ahead and add a lot of tomatoes along with that green chilies now green chilies be careful because if you have kids who don't like to eat spicy food then don't you can avoid adding green chilies then you can add some salt some lime and some pepper and go ahead and mix it and your salad is done I hope you guys don't mind the background noise coming from the TV because that's my daughter trying to watch her favorite cartoon and if I switch off the TV well hell will break loose. Sometimes when I make chapatis, it doesn't puff up like this. But usually, if you put a little bit of pressure in the middle of the chapatis when you're making it, it will puff up like this. Now, Sundays, I usually like to make something special for lunch because everyone's at home. So this time, I decided to make some chicken biryani. I start off by deep frying some onions over here I used about two medium sized onions you can use three large onions as well but the more onions you add the more flavor it will give then while the onions are deep frying I went ahead and started peeling and cleaning the potatoes now once the potatoes are cleaned cut them into pieces and coat them with turmeric and some salt 
and after you do that you need to deep fry these potatoes Now while the potatoes were frying I went ahead and soaked some cashew nuts and some raisins in hot water. Soaking these in hot water will help it become soft when you're adding it to the biryani. I marinated the chicken for this recipe the previous night. I used curd, curry powder, cumin powder, pepper, and some crushed ginger and garlic along with some crushed coriander leaves. For one kilo of chicken, I used four and a half cups of basmati rice. Make sure you cook the rice only till it's about 80% done. I used about 4 to 5 medium sized tomatoes. After you add the tomatoes, stir fry a little bit and then you can go ahead and add the marinated chicken. Next, add some water. You can add water about one or two cups, enough to cover the chicken, but don't add too much, then the gravy will become too thin. Over here to a bowl, I add some coconut milk powder, about three spoons, and dilute it with some water. And then add about four spoons of ghee, melted ghee, and then mix well. And to this, you can add some rose essence, about a teaspoon, and some food coloring, preferably orange. Once the chicken has completely cooked, you can take some gravy out and keep it aside and then you can start layering your biryani. After you're done with the first layer of rice, you can then sprinkle the fried raisins and cashew nuts. Unfortunately, my cashew nuts, it got burnt while I was frying them, so I had to throw them away. Next, you can pour the coconut milk mixture that we made and then lay the fried potatoes on top of it. And then you can put the next layer of rice now you can repeat this process if you have more potatoes and raisins it's up to you i stopped with the second layer of rice and i went ahead then poured the balanced coconut milk mixture and i added some gravy which i moved aside a while ago close the pressure cooker and let it cook for about one whistle So that ends today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. If you have any suggestions, please put them on the comments section down below. And don't forget 
to like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, take care and I Bowen from Sri Lanka.